What's key to tracking here is that, you know, in a normal confocal microscope, you bring in an excitation laser up into the subjective, and when you collect light with the same objective you use for excitation, it goes down here, and then in the image plane of the subjective tube lens system, you put a hole, a circular aperture, and that aperture acts as a three-dimensional spatial filter to only look at one volume element in your sample at a time, with that volume element being on the order of a micron by a micron by a micron. And then in a commercial confocal microscope, what happens is you raster scan that excitation laser beam, as well as de-scanning the collected fluorescence through that hole. So you build up an XY raster scan, you get some slice, then you move generally your objective with the, with the you know, mechanically move the objective up and down and take a slice at a different Z location or a different Z location. You build up multiple slices like this and then render a 3D object. Our microscope's a lot like a confocal microscope, except instead of one hole looking at one point of your sample, you look at four spots simultaneously in the sample. And these four spots are arranged in the specific geometry, where, you know, in one image plane here, we have two fiber optics which are shoved as close together as we can this way. We split our light 50-50 with a beam splitter in this other image plane. These two fiber optics are, two fiber optics are oriented like this. Um, then each fiber optic leads to its own single photon counting avalanche photo diode. What's key to 3D tracking is that this distance between the two blends and this fiber pair and this distance between the two blends and this fiber pair are slightly different, so that they look at two different slices in the sample simultaneously. So you can think of our three of our three-dimensional probe volume being something like this, a three-dimensional tetrahedron. So the way we do 3D tracking is this gives you 3D positional sensitivity. You know, a molecule in the dead center of this optical probe volume is seen equally by all four detectors. But as it may move this direction, this detector is going to see more than these three. We're going to know which direction the molecule is leaving the center of our optical probe volume. Then we can issue a command to this fast XYZ piezo stage to recenter it. So the way we do this is we count counts on these four detectors once every five milliseconds, issue a command to the stage to move, restart it again once counting counts, once every five milliseconds. So we're doing active feedback at 200 hertz to follow this fast 3D molecular motion in things like living cells. Um, so that, that's it. That's awesome.